Hello, my name is Delina Amsters. I'm the Senior Research Officer with the Spinal Outreach Team. The Spinal Outreach Team offers community-based services to people with spinal cord injury across the state of Queensland, Australia. I'm also the principal author of a paper titled The Person Environment Profile, Preliminary Development of a Clinical Tool for Enhancing Goal-Based Rehabilitation Programs. The Person Environment Profile, or PEP, is an assessment instrument developed by our research group. The PEP was developed to explore an individual's subjective view of personal and environmental factors as they might influence the achievement of rehab goals. The International Classification of Functioning, Disability and Health, the ICF, acknowledges both environmental and personal factors as contextually relevant to functioning. However, rehab researchers such as Luke Nero have suggested that it is the nature of the interaction between each person and their environment, the congruence or discord in that interaction, and not just the separate personal and environmental factors which determine outcomes. It's important to emphasise that the PEP was conceptualised as a clinical assessment tool for goal-based rehab programs rather than as an outcome measure. The PEP explores 10 elements, five personal and five environmental. The five personal elements are personality, health and fitness, problem solving ability, motivation and attitude. The five environmental factors are the physical environment, products and technology, the social environment, attitudes of others and the service systems environment. The PEP has been designed to be used as an adjunct to goal setting practice and can be used in conjunction with goal setting and attainment instruments. Each PEP element is self rated on a, on a continuum with help at one end and make it harder at the other end. One or many goals can be subjected to profiling using the PEP. This provides a visual representation of elements perceived to influence goal achievement either positively or negatively. A graphic of the PEP can be found at the end of this presentation. A draft version of the tool was subjected to face validity testing. The feedback was collected and the draft tool was then modified based on that feedback. This pilot version of the PEP was then deemed ready for clinical testing. We conducted the clinical testing with the assistance of health professionals from a transitional rehabilitation service. The original intention was to trial the PEP for a period of nine months, however the trial was shortened when some implementation issues became apparent. The additional time burden of administering the tool was cited as a problem. This led to avoidance of trialling it with some clients due to anticipated time investment. There was however support for the conceptual value of the PEP. During the trial, 10 health professionals used the instrument with 13 participants across a total of 34 goals. Despite the relatively small amount of data collected during the clinical pilot, the results suggested the PEP may be able to detect differences between participants, between elements and between goals. For example, the same participant often identified elements that would hinder one goal but would help a different goal. This is a promising finding, but considerably more data needs to be collected before the PEP can be subjected to psychometric testing. One of the intentions of the PEP trial was that health professionals might use it to stimulate meaningful discussion with participants about what they perceive to be their challenges and strengths. Without having such conversations, we run the risk of making assumptions about an individual's personal circumstances and resources. The pilot period of the PEP was shorter than anticipated and therefore data collected was limited. As a result, the research team hopes to use the positive indications identified in this research and continue to refine the PEP in a longer trial. The researchers welcome trial of the PEP by others and feedback and discussion about the experience. Thank you.